yes once again good morning everyone today we are going to study that is half range series we also call it as half range fourier expansion just a brief introduction will go with another 5 minutes okay so in this half range series what we are going to study in is that we are going to only solve half range you have seen the fourier expansion students that is we have to calculate the constant terms we are going to substitute the constant terms that is a not an and bn okay that is a full series which contains cosine series as well as sine series completely but now we are going to start that is half range series only either you are going to simplify the cosine series or you are going to solve the sine series okay let us see so here we can see as well this half range series means it is a half so it is divided into sine series or cosine series please remember this half range series means you are going to solve only the half part of the fourier series or fourier expansion please remember another half it is not required to simplify if you solve no problem but don't solve it is again you are going to waste your time so this is easier than the previous examples so you have seen fourier series yes you have to substitute you have to remember the formula you are going to substitute a not an and bn that is the coefficients of fourier series but here this half range series is divided into sine series and cosine series students okay so now first we will see what is cosine series so for cosine series in the interval 0 to l yes we have taken the constant term here as the length l 0 to l interval f of x will be equal to phi of x in the interval 0 to l or phi of minus x this is plus yes this is plus if i substitute x is equal to minus x still it is the function will remain plus in the interval minus l to 0 so such functions are known as even function please remember i think in the previous class we have already discussed even a dot function yes whenever you take the cosine series they are also known as even function please remember this students now in this what you have to remember is whenever they ask cosine series yes in the example it will be very clear so if you in the question cosine series is asked means you have to consider this is a even function directly and you are going to solve only please remember you are going to solve only student that is a not and an and please remember don't solve bn you are not going to solve bn please remember this i am going to repeat once again here in the cosine series is it clear in the cosine series the series is considered as even function therefore we solve we are interested and we are going to obtain only the answers of a not and an please remember this students don't solve bn bn is not required is it clear this is for cosine series similarly we have sine series in the sine series you can see yes in the for the sine series in the interval 0 to l f of x is equal to phi of x in the interval 0 to l then this is minus phi of minus x in the interval minus l to 0 you can see when i substitute minus x in the function i am going to get this as minus is it clear therefore this function will be considered in terms of minus therefore we are going to say this has nothing but the sin series is it clear so whenever there is a sin series the function is known as odd is it clear so please remember this when i substitute x is equal to minus x i get this as minus phi of minus x then such functions are known as odd functions they are also known as sin series means you are interested only to solve sin series please remember whenever they say it as sin series what you have to do is only solve bn please remember you are going to solve only this bn part of the fourier expansion and don't solve a not and an because a not and an are cosine series therefore 
we are not going to solve this a not and a n please remember this students very very important suppose if you solve means it means that you don't know sin series and cosine series suppose in the question sin series are asked okay consider this function as odd function and only solve dn we don't know we are not interested to solve a not and an it is not important to solve because the question demands only b and you are going to solve whenever it is sin series please remember this students next we will go to very important properties integration i think you have come across this property once again i will repeat integration 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to this is in two times integration 0 to a f of x dx if f of x is even 0 if f of x is odd okay next we have integration plus a to minus a, a is some constant term uh, here we have taken pi or l is the length okay similarly so we are going to take this as the integration plus a to minus a any terms that is phi of x dx is equal to this is can be written as two times integration zero to a f of x dx if phi of x is even function zero if phi of x is odd function sorry this is phi of x okay please remember the function is phi of x phi of x two times integration zero to a phi of x dx if phi of x is even zero if phi of x is odd okay next we'll see this example students now you can see here expand f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 as a cosine half range four year series in the interval x between 0 and 1 so in the example it is clearly mentioned that this is a cosine half range series means whatever function they have given we directly take this as the function as even student so please remember this now when this is a cosine series we are interested only solving a naught and a n please don't solve b n in the cosine series please remember this students and yes so you already know the formula so write your formula so we'll start solving everyone please start solving half of the part is clear yes friends you can easily solve this example you can see this is cosine series means we are going to solve only a naught and a n so b n is not required okay please remember this but i will not mention here it is understood that cosine half range series means we are not interested in solving b n it is not required not at all required friends so please remember this okay so i think everyone is ready to simplify this such problems so first we'll take the fourier series so fourier series is given by so first you write the formula student that is f of x is equal to a naught upon 2 plus summation n 1 to infinity okay a n cos n by x upon l so this is our fourier series where as you know the constant terms is coefficient of Fourier series it is also known as coefficient of Fourier series a naught is equal to yes it is 2 upon L integration 0 to 1 f of x dx please remember this once similarly we have to solve a n is equal to this is also 2 upon L because this is why we have taken two students please remember two times means it is half of the Fourier series half range of the Fourier series so this is again 0 to 1 f of x and this is cos n pi x upon l please simplify this students and tell me what is the answer with you i will also solve okay so these are the four formulas cosine half range Fourier series please write it down students and practice this formulas is it clear so now one by one we will simplify this runs okay so first you have to find what is the length yes please remember how you will find the length yes 
because this is half frame series the length we are going to consider this is l okay for half frame series this is equal to please remember this formula that is b minus a please also remember this formula that is length of half frame series is l if it is full what will be the full can anybody tell me unmute and tell me if it is the full length is full range is given of fourier series what will be the length students yes it is 2l if it is full range is given we will consider this as 2l but here the length is half range series therefore l is equal to b minus a what is b minus a this is a please remember this is b so a and b we are going to consider that is 0 and 1 from the given question so a is 0 b is 1 therefore directly you can substitute this as 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 so this is all you have to understand looking at the question itself so done looking at the question you have to identify a not a n and what is the length okay now also remember and what is given here students yes function is given f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 So this all things are given, students. Okay, one by one we will solve for a naught. So I will take this equation here. I will start simplifying a naught is equal to two upon one. L is one. We have already calculated here. This is integration from zero to one. Yes, the interval they have already given that is zero and one only. So we have to consider here integration zero to one. F of x is yes, it is two x minus one, and this is. dx is it clear students if you have any doubt please ask me any doubt students please unmute and ask me yes any doubt students okay so continue either otherwise you can put it in the chat box students yes any doubt no okay fine so now simplify this runs now it is very easy this will remain 2 2 upon 1 is 2 only this is now integration of 2x yes i think you remember integration of x 2 is constant i'll write 2 as it is integration of x is x square upon 2 please remember this runs Minus integration of one. Integration of constant is x. So this is the interval zero to one. Okay. Now this two and two will get cancelled. This is equal to two. What is remaining here, students? It is x square minus x in the interval zero to one. Okay. Now we'll substitute x is equal to one, and then we'll substitute. X is equal to zero. Okay, one by one you substitute runs. You can see here two is constant. I will write two outside. One I will substitute here. One square is one only. Minus this is also x is one. Then minus this is zero zero. Okay, this term will become zero zero. Now you can see here runs. One minus one is zero. Zero minus zero is also zero. Zero into two is also zero. So therefore. A not you have calculated this is equal to zero student so please remember this A not is equal to zero similarly tell me what is the answer of A N now yes students okay so first you take down this formula here and substitute the values L is equal to one and f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 substitute in this an so you can see here it will be 2 upon 1 integration 0 to 1 f of x is 2x minus 1 okay then cos n pi x l is 1 okay this is dx so this is very very important you can see this we are going to use yes it is product of two integration that is sorry product of two functions that is u into v integration of u into v 
or you can take u so integration of u into v that is bernoulli's rule it says that keep u as it is integration v1 minus u dash v double dash plus u double dash v sorry this is v or we also take this as 2 v2 v3 and so on so we'll continue this so this will be again minus u double dash triple dash and this is v4 okay so i am going to consider u what is this integration of two product of two functions so i am going to take this u and this is v u is equal to i will take this as 2x minus 1 okay v i am going to take this as yes it is cos n by x is remember cos n by x now i can take this students this is u dash what is differentiation students u dash is nothing but differentiation differentiation of x is 1 so 2 i will keep as it is differentiation of 1 x is 1 and minus this is 0 so uh, this will be equal to 2 okay similarly u double dash what is differentiation of 2 2 is constant therefore u double dash is 0 it means remaining all the terms u raised to 3 u raised to 4 all will tend to 0 okay this is u similarly we'll go for v v1 yes friends i can see here v is equal to cos n pi x is there right what is integration of cos n pi x yes it is sin n pi x upon coefficient of x what is coefficient of x n pi therefore divided by n pi is it clear students any doubt once again i will repeat see v is equal to cos n pi x is there okay so integration will be what sin n pi x divided by coefficient of x is n pi therefore divided by n pi is it clear okay now go to v2 again so 1 upon pi is constant i will write 1 upon pi outside integration of sin n pi x so please remember what is integration of sin n pi x this is minus cos n pi x n pi x upon yes coefficient of x is n pi so divided by n pi is it clear therefore this is equal to so you can see minus cos n pi i will take it outside minus cos n pi x i will remove the brackets n pi into n pi so it will be divided by n square into pi square is it clear so this is our v2 so now v1 is done v2 is done v3 is not required from because u double dash is already it is zero so i will not solve for v3 okay now i will substitute one by one in this an fine so now this will be equal to yes this is equal to a n is equal to it is 2 i will keep it outside okay you are going to compare this equation run please remember u first is u i will keep 2x minus 1 then v1 what is v1 students substitute the value of v1 that is sin n pi x upon n pi okay so i substituted v1 next minus again bernoulli's rule continue the product of two functions integration so minus u dash what is u dash runs yes it is 2 so i substitute here 2 then v2 what is v2 runs yes this is our v2 that is minus cos n pi x divided by n square pi square please students with me you also solve so that it will be practice and then the interval will be from 0 to 1 hmm, sorry so continue this this will be equal to okay so first i am going to substitute here 1 x is 1 i will substitute next i will substitute x is equal to 0 okay now please remember yes what is sin n pi yes tell me what is the value of sin n pi if i take x is equal to 
tell me what is the value students please unmute and tell me students i can't Zero. hear you yes yes what is the value of sin n pi little loudly zero sir yes please remember it is zero also sin zero is zero means in this term please remember in this full term sin n pi is zero means if i substitute x is equal to 1 this term will become zero also if i take Zero x is equal to zero. This term will become zero only, student. So this full term will become zero. Okay. Now further we'll simplify. I will take two here outside. We are remain with only this term. So I am going to consider only that term. Now you can see here minus. Here also we have minus. Minus into minus will become plus. Is it clear? Two is constant. I will take out two outside. Okay, so here you can see I will take this two outside. Two into two. Okay, again what is constant here, friend? N square pi square is constant. Okay, N square pi square also I will take outside divided by N square pi square. I will take outside. We are remained with only cos N pi x because we are going to consider only the x terms. It is cos n pi x. I will take and interval zero to one remain as it is. Therefore, we'll continue this integration. A n is equal to two into two will become four divided by n square, and this is pi square. Now I will substitute x is equal to one, so this will become cos n pi minus. Now I will substitute x is equal to zero. This will become cos zero. Is it clear, students? Now, please remember in the frequency that is period in the frequency table, you can see cos n pi. What is the value of cos n pi? Already given the formula that is minus one raised to n. It is because frequency domain. So please remember this. And what is cos zero, students? Cos zero is equal to one. So both the values you can substitute. Therefore. Therefore, I think everyone got the same answer. A n is equal to four divided by n square pi square, and this is cos n pi is minus one raised to n minus cos zero is one. Okay, so this is what we are going. We have calculated this value a naught and a n. Please remember. So I think it is quite easy. Everyone must able to solve this in an exam. Because this is very very important in the next coming exam. So a naught and a n you have already calculated. So please remember now four year series. Four year series will be what students? It is f of x is equal to because a naught is zero. So a naught upon two will also become zero. Now we are left with only summation n one to infinity a n. A n is nothing but we have four upon n square pi square okay next this is minus 1 raised to n minus 1 and then we have cos n pi x so this is our fourier series yes this is our answer student everyone got the same answer please check yes sir